A seed bank is a specialized gene bank designated to preserving germplasm and biodiversity in seeds. These organizations have been discovered as far back as 6750 BC, with the oldest seed growing into a viable plant being a 2,000-year-old Judean date palm seed, as dated by Carbon-14. One of the most famous examples of these incredible institutions would be Abu Ghraib, an Iraq prison turned seed bank in the 70s. Iraq was the first country to grow domesticated wheat somewhere between 8,000 and 13,000 years ago. When the United States gained control of Iraq, laws were implemented that prevented the saving of seeds through seed banks. GMOs were introduced with a strong force, completely demolishing the farmer's natural approach to farming. Protecting seeds from the harmful effects of animals and weather seemed to be of a greater concern to some than others, but now our responsibility is much greater. The significance of these efforts was appreciated so deeply by Russian biologists in the Svalbard Gobel Seed Vault that they died of malnutrition and starvation over their refusal to eat Russia's future, and to this day, some still refer to this organization as the tomb that gives life. The importance of seed banks is only growing in appreciation as our understanding increases. Both small and large efforts are being made all over the world to conserve biodiversity. We see examples like the Chicago Botanic Garden, where tall grass species are collected to save an environment we have threatened ourselves over land use. As of 2006, there were 1,600 gene banks throughout the world and over 6 million samples being protected. Researchers first decide what seeds to collect, giving priority to threatened species. After locating the desired plants, seed collection takes place when the seeds are ripe. Many tools are used to extract these tiny seeds, for example, tweezers, pole cutters, seed traps, or nets and buckets, depending on the type of plant. For each seed collection, researchers record the location, plant description, habitat, soil type, and any other important information. This way, they can be as specific as possible with replanting conditions in the local population. Each seed sample is assigned a unique number. For example, this little guy is 10367. To ensure the highest quality, collectors clean each sample by being shaved through a sieve or having a machine blow on them. They are then dried to reduce moisture content and stored in minimum minus 20 degrees Celsius in airtight containers. One of Canada's best and biggest seed banks is located in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Established in 1967, the National Tree Seed Centre collects, processes, tests, and stores the seeds of 120 Canadian and 45 non-Canadian tree and shrub species. Try saying that 10 times fast. The seeds are stored in their 13,000 seed lots and are all collected from natural populations by means of climbing, pruning, and harvesting. Whoops, that's Canadian with a capital C. The seeds are tested for moisture content, weight, and germination to see if they're worth planting. The goal of NTSC is to preserve the genetic diversity of Canadian tree and shrub species while making them accessible to researchers, the primary users of the bank. However, there are many well-known efforts outside of Canada, such as Bioversity, an organization working towards sustainable food and nutritional safety. Their vision is to conserve agricultural biodiversity while nourishing people and sustaining the planet. They are currently focused in West and Central Africa, Southeast Asia, Central and South Asia, Central and South America, as well as East and Southern Africa. The Millennium Seed Bank Project is the largest plant conservation program in the world. They are responsible for the collection and conservation of 10% of the world's seed-bearing flora, which totals to about 24,000 species. The MSBP focuses on building relationships worldwide to support and advance seed conservation efforts. They are active in Africa, Eurasia, Asia, Europe, and North America. The Millennium Seed Bank Project is considered one of the top five seed conservation organizations along with Navdanya, the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, 
the National Center for Genetic Resources, and the Vavilov Research Institute. Each and every one of us needs to ask ourselves what effects we are having on genetic modification. What are the long-term consequences of removing natural species and creating what we consider the perfect specimen? Our predictions may or may not be accurate, but we can't let ourselves get to the stage where we have to find out firsthand. Our selections and ideas of perfection are always changing, and what may be helpful today could be harmful tomorrow. Thanks to scientists and their efforts towards seed conservation, we are taking the important steps to preserving biodiversity for both the present and future.